Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and today a quick video about a quality of life update seen over on Strava for both runners and cyclists and this applies to both free users and subscribers to the service. You can now assign a default activity to the gear that you have saved, so your bikes and your shoes. What this means is if you upload an activity and your device has correctly set the activity type, so for example I go for a gravel ride with the gravel profile on my Garmin Edge, Strava will automatically assign my gravel bike to that activity. Same goes for road bike, mountain bike, e-bike ride, virtual ride, or if you forget your bike, running can assign shoes and hiking can also assign other default shoes. Having this service inbuilt allows you to do this automatically without having to use a third party service such as Activity Fix. Now, Activity Fix can be used for a whole lot more than just assigning gear. I'll put a link in the video description below to my coverage on that. Definitely worth checking out if you're a bit of a Strava nerd. A few things to note on this default gear assignment over on Strava you can only assign one bike or pair of shoes per activity type. You can set these defaults on both Strava Web and Strava Mobile. The device needs to correctly set your activity type for this to work well. So as I said just before, if you've got a Garmin Edge and you use the mountain bike profile, it correctly sets the subsport profile in the fit file and Strava knows what to do with that. Same with road cycling, gravel, etc. If your device isn't setting that subsport type correctly, this isn't going to work very well. Uh, also, if you reassign gear, it won't then recategorize your activity. So, for example, if I go for a gravel ride on my mountain bike, it will by default set my gravel bike as the gear used for that activity. If I change that to mountain bike, it's not going to change the activity type back to mountain bike. This only happens when you first upload your activity to Strava. And if you're manually uploading a fit file, ah, yeah, things get a bit tricky. I'll cover that in just a few moments. Okay, let's see this default assignment in action on the web and mobile and have a look at that tricky setup with uploading fit files manually. Okay, over on Strava web, we go to our gear, which is under settings, my gear. And from here, I already have set some defaults to a number of bikes. So the default sport, which is ride, road ride, which is my giant TCR, gravel ride, Cervelo Espero, My Little Pony is unassigned for now, and Mountain Bike Ride will be assigned the Pivot Mac 4. The shoes, I have two sets of Hokers, and everything defaults to the one set of Hokers. Okay, now let's add a new bike for indoor. Let's call this Kicker Bike. We'll assign that to Virtual Rides. Types, well, I guess it's a road bike. Weight, well, I guess it's pretty heavy. Brand. Wahoo, kicker bike, okay, save bike, and any virtual ride that I now upload to Strava by default will be assigned the equipment of kicker bike, easy as that. Now over to Strava Mobile to show you the same thing, but in the mobile format, we go to you, scroll down to gear, and everything we see there on the mobile is exactly what we see also on the web. However, with shoes, let's assign hiking to a different set of shoes. So I'll add a set of shoes here. Shoes, default sport, hike. Okay, brand, they are Merrill, which is all the way down there. Model, I don't know, they are gray. And notify me when I have run or hiked. Let's go 800 Ks. Okay, we hit save on that. Okay, I now have my Merrill hiking shoes with zero kilometers. And over on the web, I hit refresh on that. And any hike that I upload will now have a default equipment or gear assigned to it of those shoes right there. Now onto the catch or gotcha when uploading activities or fit files manually to Strava. This activity assignment does work, but it operates in a very strange way. First of all, Gabriella has a QOM, so let's give her kudos on that and go over and add my manual activity. Okay, this is a very, very short mountain bike ride. Okay. It's going to auto populate this with evening mountain bike ride activity type. I'm not going to touch. This is set to a mountain bike ride though. Bike, no auto assignment seen here. And I'm yet to hit save and view. However, and this is how Strava works as a whole, that activity is now already on my profile and pushed out to any feed 
it may be accessible too. Now I've locked things down by default, but I haven't even hit save and it's already up on Strava. I'll click into Mountain Bike Ride though, and we can see it has auto assigned my Pivot Mac 4. Brilliant, that's what we're after. Now, back over to here, where no bike is assigned, ride type is assigned to ride, but that gets overwritten by what's in the fit file. If I actually go down then and hit save in view on that, it removes the auto assigned equipment. It's gone. So it's still a mountain bike ride, which is correct. Edge 1040, which is correct. And yeah, you can see that's what it was. That's what it is now. That's what it was. Let's refresh this and it's gone. So do watch for that when adding a manual activity or fit file on Strava. I do think they should populate those fields automatically based on the rules you've set up. It shouldn't be too hard to do. Something they don't currently do though over on Strava. Okay, so that's a wrap on Strava's new feature of assigning a default activity type to the gear that you have saved. Definitely worth doing if you're tracking your gear usage within Strava, but if you wanna get a little bit deeper, check out activityfix.com. Again, links in the video description below to that. As always, if you found this informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to be alerted of new videos on this channel, and thanks for watching.